Hello and welcome to Tech Baffle. James Oak here, and today we're going to build stuff. Tech Baffle, discover cool stuff. So we have these super blocks, which kind of look like a big Kinder Egg, except there's no chocolate, unfortunately. These ones are all themed around dinosaurs. Pretty cool, because there's like a dinosaur egg. What dinosaur is inside this egg? It does in. So yeah, I got these from Pound Stretcher, but I think you can get similar books from Amazon. So I'll put links in the description. And here we go. I like this little egg, it's pretty cool. It pops open, like say. So. Reveal the bricks. I said reveal the bricks. Snip. Bricks. Yeah. So we got everything. It's a new day and I have enough SD card space in my camera. So let's go ahead and build our mystery dinosaur. So we have our very tiny instruction manual. So big shout out to my girlfriend, Shannon. Hello. He's really looking forward to this dinosaur mystery egg and I'm looking forward to it as well. So let's get started. Okay, so what we need to do, we need to make two of these left bits and two of these right bits. Okay, so what happens is that, let's have a look. So that actually goes underneath here. Got one left bit, and let's create another left bit. Hooray! Mm -hmm. And then we need two right bits, so it's kind of the same thing. Doing them like that. Oh no, I've done this one wrong. No, that's a very similar piece, but this one. The grabby bit is actually facing the other way around, so that's not right. <laughs> I knew it wouldn't be that long before I did something wrong. Okay, so we need one more of these right pieces. Hooray! So, what we need to do is connect this at the top. So, pop these underneath of the 4x2 flat piece. Are these like legs or something? We'll soon find out. Oh, no, come back. And there we go, look at that. Step number two, we have one of these pieces at the front. What do we have on the back? Oh, we have a different one. We have one of these instead. Little clippy bit, like that. So that goes on the back. And then to finish it off, we have a two by two flat piece. It just makes it more level. Awesome. So it's coming together a little bit. Okay, so we need the connecting piece here. And then on the back, we have, I think this is a gray piece, yes. So we'll stick that on to the back. It's like a pointy piece, that's quite cool. So it's basically connects onto here. It's like a tail, looks kind of tailish. Very cool indeed. Step three, we have this little piece on the front. So we need this two by one here. And then this clips onto the front of the dinosaur. It's already looking kind of dinosaurish already. Mm -hmm. So we've got these other flat pieces. So this is like a two by one flat piece, but it only has one nib on it, like that. Oh no, we have bits falling off. Come back. We don't want missing legs today. Let's clip this one on. Oh no, I've done this wrong. Where did I park my car? Oh no. Wait a minute. Oh no, I've lost a leg. Oh no, I've lost another egg. Oh, oh, these cheap bricks do not disconnect very nicely. It struggles. I forgot to put this flat two by four piece in. I do find this is the main problem with cheaper bricks is if you get something wrong, it's almost like they're welded together. I think the problem is the bricks are too kind of shiny. There's no grip to them at all. <sighs> yes, way. Ow, I've actually, Dented my finger. My camera does not care. We need to concentrate. Let, let's concentrate this time. Oh no, we still need to disconnect these two pieces, don't we? Look at this. Look at this struggle. There's no kind of way to really grip the two pieces to pull them apart. Try and leave it off. Oh, yes. Phew. Let's. Make sure we read the instructions properly. So this piece here does connect onto the back like so. Now we need to put this four by two on top because that's what I forgot to do. Is it right? Yes, okay. And then we put these 
two by ones on. I think that's it. Okay, we need to put this tail back on. Tail! And he's lost a leg. So the bits you actually want to come off don't, and then the bits that you don't want to come off do. <laughs> so that is what we've got so far. Look at that. Next step we have is these little pointy pieces, these tiny little pointy pieces, and we place this one on top of the black piece here. So these pieces here, funny enough, they actually have a little groove at the bottom, like this, making them easier to remove. I wish all the bricks had that. There we go, so that's his head. And we've also got two more flat pieces to put on his back. And there we go. Okay, so this is pretty cool. So I think these are like spikes. So what we need to do is create three of these thingamabobs. So we get one of these pieces with the holes on either side and then connect the spiky bits on each one. So it looks like that. Two more. And finally, one more. And there we go. And we have our three pointy bits. Hooray! I've forgotten one step on step four, which was to put one of these flat pieces actually on the top. So let's go ahead and put the spiky bits on. You can actually change the direction of these. So the front one actually points towards like that. If you don't lose his leg, you can rotate them how you like it. Let's do the back one kind of diagonal as well. Pop that on. And the top one just faces upwards. And there we go. I've actually got an extra leg. I thought I did something wrong there, but there's only supposed to be four of these, so I've got a bonus one. Hooray! So there we go. That's our Stegosaurus. Really cool colours. It's like a yellow and grey one. What I like about these is that they've actually got articulation as well. You can move the head, you move the tail. There's plenty more things to build on Tech Baffle. If you like this video, smash that like button. If you want any more of this sort of thing, don't forget to subscribe and ding so you don't miss a thing. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and TikTok. Follow me at Tech Baffle. For the latest, head over to techbaffle.com. Thanks for watching and have a baffling day.